Jones at Ravens. Now, what? I I had the Ravens winning that game. Now I I turn around and pick the and the Browns. I just feel as though, really? yeah. I I'm just gonna I'm guessing a little in my heart. I just feel as though with everything that Baker Mayfield went through, through last year, maybe he might mature this year. Maybe he might be, they might be the card they excited him because he had all these weapons. I mean, you got Obi shits. What did that man say? Oh my god, shit. That's messed up. That poor dude. That, I, well, you should have said. Wait, wait, see, so you don't what, know about you hear about this? That's a you don't different, know about this? Oh man! Yeah, yeah. Let's not drag his name. <laughs> another time, another time. Yeah. That's fine. I, I was just, oh man. He, he, let's just say he's not in the news for good reasons. But uh, you know, like I feel, as, I think the Ravens will still be good, but I just think they might come down to earth a little bit. Like I think Lamar Jackson is that dude, but they're gonna prepare more for this guy. It feels though. Uh, no, they can't. They don't. They nah. won't be able to uh, keep up with enough. Lamar Jackson. He's like the pure dual threat quarterback in the NFL right now. Um, there's players with mobility, but he can do it all. Uh, he can throw the ball real deep and and do it just as bad, uh, just as uh, great as running it. Um, I, yeah, that's, I, that's why he's not Lamar Jackson. <laughs> I, I don't know. I just I don't know. I mean. Oh, this, is, this is hard for me, man. Like, I like Lamar. I think it's the real deal. But I also think maybe losing Earl Thomas might hurt them as well, too. So, no, like I said, I think – Earl gonna, Thomas. I mean, he's, he's – yeah, coach. I mean, yeah. He, he, he's not, no, like – he's not who he once was before. But it, the Ravens still got a good team. But I just think they're going to take a step back. I think – Sure. They're going to be fine. I think they'll lose this first game, but – I I still – think they're going to be the second seed in the AFC. I still I think this game's a no-brainer. The Browns until the Browns prove to me that they can actually do something like yeah, I know you've got talent. You've got talent everywhere on that team, but until they actually piece something together, mm-hmm. like they're still the Browns. Like going the Ravens. Going the Ravens. I got the Browns. I I I have 23-20. The Browns have been like that for like a couple years too. Exactly. Like, like they- Good? Are they, you know? I'm just, like, choosing with my heart because, like, I just want this team to succeed. Like, I, I like Baker. I like I like the idea. He's not his your typical quarterback. So, I want to see the asshole quarterback, you know, doing tearing shit up. So, I mean, I, I don't have too much to say about I this. I can't. What up? No, I say I can't, I can't hate on that. Like, that's root for who you want. But, yeah. In terms of, I think most people would take Lamar, no question. I, I, I don't blame you. Based on quarterbacks. I, I, I said, this, this is a hard choice for me to make. So, yeah, I mean, I won't be surprised if the Ravens win. All right, Pat, I know you guys, I know you guys are sitting on your mind right now because <laughs> you look a little bit torn right now. Well, it's, yeah, I'm a little torn because just because of the way that they – it's like on the paper, like, yeah, you're like, oh, Ravens. But it's a divisional game. And right. the Browns yeah. beat them last year. I mean, granted, it was early in the year. They smoked them 40 to 25. And then they played them tough even in the second, you know, towards the end of the year. You know, they lost by, what, like two scores, like 31-15. I mean, so they hang around with Baltimore. Um I tend to, you know, lean towards Baltimore, but I, some of the same, same stuff you said, R.L., like no Earl Thomas. So like they got Chuck Clark in there. You got a rookie at the linebacker, Patrick Queen. Like no one knows how he's going to adapt. I mean, he looked great out of LSU, but like how no preseason and you got a, you know, a rookie play caller in there and LJ Fort is the other linebacker. So it's like these guys don't have any communication yet with one another. So there's some question marks. Like, I mean, Earl Thomas was – Regardless of he slowed down, he was probably the quarterback in the secondary. Yes, and now you have a new mm-hmm. quarterback in the linebacking course, so, like, communication-wise. And, um, I mean, they got Lamar. And if Lamar plays like he did last year, they should win. But I just, you know, I, I'm going to go Ravens, but I feel like I wouldn't be stunned, like you were saying, RL, if, if the Browns, you know, came out and played them tough in a divisional game and squeaked one out. 
Uh, looks like I'm the only one. I think it's like one out of four, right? Looks like I'm the only one that's picking the. Uh, uh, you know what? RL, 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 you know picking what? the Browns. I'm gonna, I'm gonna no. I'm gonna join you on that one, RL. I won't let you fly. I'll go. I'll change. I'll go. Brown. You gonna join yeah. me? Right. I'm gonna join you. I, I don't know how. I don't know how smart I am. For, I don't know how smart I am for that one, but yeah, yeah. I have pity on the week. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, the, I know, I, thank you for staying with me on this one. All right, I think this next game, I think we all agree who wins this game. Colts, I mean, Colts at Jaguars. Jaguars still have anybody. Ramsey's gone. Um, I, yeah, Boy is I, gone. I, I can't. Renes, Yannick. <laughs> Yannick, like, that, that I was going to say, I don't know how many people I can even name on the team. Gone. <laughs> It's a fire sale down there in Jacksonville. It is, man. It is terrible. And, like, honestly, I actually have the Colts winning the division. Yeah, Colts as well. I know Phillip Rivers is not the greatest quarterback, but you are in a system with Frank Wright. He's having to make you do everything. He got the line. He got the running game. Something that you did not have in, in um, L.A. last year. So, I think Frank Wright's going to put him in a good position to succeed. Now, he's going to he's gonna be all-time great again. Like, no, nah, well – Philbert has mm, all time great. I'll, I'll, it's definitely I'll, the best place for him right now. I mean, he I definitely mean, has a pretty good team around him. All they need is a quarterback for them to hand or throw the ball to. Yeah. My I guy. kind of disagree that he didn't have a running game. I, I mean, well, Eckler no, was he, he did have pretty Melvin, effective last he year. Melvin, um, yeah, Melvin Gordon last Austin, year. Austin Eckler as well. Like, Eckler yeah. was very good out of the backfield. But not, but not the uh, line. I mean, though. He's, he's got a better line in, in it with the Colts. He does a better line. You're right. Yeah, way better line. Uh, I like the I mean, rookies that the Colts got this year. I like Michael Pittman Jr. out of USC. I thought he kind of went a little bit. I thought he fell a little bit in the draft wide receiver. And Jonathan Taylor is an absolute animal out of Wisconsin. Yeah, he's gonna be. A, he's gonna be a problem. I if those two guys can like develop. And Phillip Rivers is there, and you know, T.Y. Hilton. Um, I mean, I'm interested for sure. I mean, I'm, I'm going Colts, but, like, I mean, if those yeah. two guys can, like, take those steps, especially, like, Jonathan – Jonathan Taylor looks the part of, like, <laughs> Ezekiel <laughs> Elliott that can just take over the league. I mean, that dude is a bruiser. I mean, he's a beast. So, uh, I'm interested to see what, what Phillip Rivers has left in the tank. And you have you – know, Coming have, into a new have, situation. And you have Frank Wright. Like, Frank Wright is a good, legit coach. Very so true. You saw what you do with Andrew Luck. Like, he revived Andrew Luck's career. I mean, despite him, you know, retiring at the last minute, he reimbursed his career. So, he might do the same thing with Phillip Rivers. Defense, you still got Darius Leonard right there. So, their defense won't be – I mean, don't be top ten, but it'll still be good. So, as I have the one in this division. Yeah, it'll be good enough. Yeah. Now, the talent-wise, they got some good at talent, but I, be, I trust their coach overall than their talent. Because we saw what Frank Wright did with us. So I just, Very like, true. He, Frank Reich is perfect for Indianapolis. Uh, obviously, I would much love, still would like him in Philly, but he's yep. he's definitely head coaching material, no question about it. And uh, I know, I think he was going to go. I don't know what other places he's going to go to, but him going to uh, Indianapolis is a perfect fit. Yeah, you got your bar. I've got uh, the Colts as well. Yeah, I got, I got Colts across the board. Colts across yeah, the board. Colts. Clean sweep. Clean yeah. sweep. 27. That's, the Colts. That's, that's what I have. All right. This next game, I'm a little, this is a little bit hard as well, too, and that's uh, Raiders at Carolina. I, Ooh, Raiders God. are a young team. Okay. This, okay. Well, Do you think Gruden is good or, or overrated? Like, let, let's, I'm gonna, I, I want to get a question out the way first. Is he overrated? He's good. <laughs> I mean, he's, he's it good. Doesn't matter, uh, <laughs> it doesn't matter, like, how old he is, how long he's going to be around. He, Gruden is going to be Gruden. Um, I don't know what he's doing differently than he was doing uh, in Tampa Bay or even in Philadelphia when he was in OC. But he's got the young – he's got a <laughs> lot of young talent on that team. Like, it's young time, but, like, I don't – Raiders know. are good. They're solid. They're a pretty solid team, and they have some pretty good – if they're trying to build something, they have a pretty good foundation. Um, they're still in that middle of the middle of the road team, though. Uh, they're, I don't know if they'll be Super Bowl ready this year no, or yeah. next year. Well, that yeah, depends on what they're – they're, they're, they're in the middle of the road. 
Derek Carr got a ball out this year. I doubt that's going to happen. Yeah, this is make or break year for Derek Carr. I mean, you got to either should have get off the pot. Excuse my language. But, I mean, like, dude, you got to fig- figure it out, you know. I mean, they got yeah. a stud running back for him last year. You know, Josh Jacobs balled out. And, I mean, I would have liked to see rookie of the year go to Miles Sanders. But, you know, <laughs> Josh Jacobs did his thing. Um, I don't know, though. I like – uh I like yeah, I like Carolina. I think in the game, just you know, McCaffrey is the best yeah. player on the field. I like I, Bridgewater. I mean, you know, I don't think Bridgewater gets enough respect. Honestly, mm-hmm. um, I kind of mm-hmm. see why people maybe. Actually, I don't see why people see. I mean, like he balled out in Minnesota, and, and then he got hurt last year. He, yeah, and then yeah. He well, no, he had a pretty pretty gruesome. So there was pictures of it. That apparently, his leg injury was pretty yeah, was bad. bad. I don't bad. know if it was yeah. as bad as. Uh, yeah, I, it might be a couple pegs above. Alex, he Smith. proved it though last year with um, you know, what he did in New Orleans. I mean, he stepped up and showed was, what he could yeah, do. It was pretty bad. He held it awesome. down. No, no, yeah, yeah. he I, definitely proved it last year. Yeah. But and it was like, mm. like Christian McCaffrey. I still, I still like DJ Moore. I still think he has yet to you know mm. show what he can really. I do. think DJ Moore takes a step up this DJ year. Moore's with good. Just being out of the lineup. It's yeah. a good call. I like that too. He got and he picked up Roddy Anderson in free agency, so they got some speed on that uh, Carolina team. But they have a new coach though, so we're not quite sure where that's going to go. But they drafted a who, lot. Who was the hire again? Matthew Rule out of uh, Baylor. She's a, uh, he actually uh, coached oh, at Temple and then yeah, yeah, yeah. to Baylor. Yeah. They have very big unknown. I have no idea how that's going to go, but yeah. they got yeah. some you know offensive pieces there for sure. I just think you know I'm. I'm I don't know about Gruden just yet in terms of, I mean, he was a defensive mastermind in the early 2000s, but the game's changed. Like, he, his yeah. defense has prided themselves on being extremely physical in ways that you can't necessarily play anymore. Like, those jams off the lines of scrimmage are different now. I mean, like, mm. back when he was beating us in the NFC Championship game in whatever oh, it was, 2002, yeah. you could throw Todd Pinkston all over the place and James Thrash, you could bounce them off and, you know, <laughs> bounce them off the bleachers and it was, it was legal, you know, like, you mm-hmm. know, nowadays it's a little bit different. You can't, you can't have Vontez Perfect out there, like, like taking dudes heads off, you know, and it's, yeah. it's a little bit different, like, <laughs> style of play. So do I don't know. I, I, I think Gruden's definitely a smart dude, but I got to see it first before, like, I'm just, yeah. you know, saying he's still going to be a Super Bowl contending coach. I mean, I, I'm going Panthers for sure. Yeah, I got, yeah, I got, I'm, the, got the Panthers winning this game. I'm right there. The Raiders. Pat. I'm Wait, right the Raiders? Pat, I think. Uh, yeah, I'm picking Raiders. I think they're uh, the, the more uh, complete team in terms of Ooh. You know, the, Cam Newton just left. <laughs> but yeah, no. I'm, complete I'm, team. Dude, all right. Ooh. So, get this. Raiders are, Raiders are the favorite in this game by only three points, though. Mm-hmm. Probably because so, of coaching. Um. Better coach, uh, an actual starting quarterback. Well, a, a franchise quarterback, Teddy, Teddy Bridgewater. Yeah. No, 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 yeah, a franchise quarterback. Uh, Teddy Bridgewater is he, – he's definitely a good fit there. And he if he wants to be the starter, that's definitely the, the best place for him. Um, I just don't see – new coach, rookie coach, first time in the NFL. Um I mean, I'll I'll let, I'll I'll just let uh, Vegas do the decision making for me, and I'll uh, go with uh, Raiders. All right, Jabari. Uh, uh, I'm yeah, I was gonna say Panthers, but <laughs> it's a tough pick. Going? This is a tough game to pick. Yeah, that is actually kind of tough. Yeah, yeah, I think I'm with the Raiders. All right, so we got three for two. The Raiders. Yeah, Panthers for me. All right, Panthers. All right, all right. Next game up. Um, we got Bears at Lions. Then the Bears have had success with, against the Lions the past couple of years in Detroit. Lions, I don't know what's going on. I, I always ask the question what's going on with the Lions every year. So, I mean, ever since Barry Sanders, I've been asking that question, why? <laughs> why? And I love Detroit. Detroit's a great city. My mom, my mom used to go to school there. But other than that, though, Detroit's garbage. Bears still got a good defense, but <laughs> Trubisky. Bottom of the net. Great, great city, <laughs> but I hate it. <laughs> hate their team. Hate their team. That's it. But Trubisky, I don't see it happening. He's got a ball out because you have Nick Foles as your backup. But not that. You have 
Lamar, you have the you have Deshaun and Mahomes balling out, and you're drafting it that same year. The Bears could have gotten Mahomes or Deshaun, and they got you. So, my brother, you you got to step up. Oh, but I don't, I, don't th- I don't think it's gonna happen. But like I said, they still got the defense. Uh, so they'll win this game, 23-17. Like I said, um, Lions, Matt Patricia, whatever his name last name is. He, Matt Patricia. Patricia. Like, Patricia. Yeah. He's just shown that, once again, you coach under Bill Belichick, you go to another team, you're trapped as a coach. He has a loser record. Like, he just hasn't there was a a lot of, uh, or quite a few, like maybe second to third starters from New England that just went over to Detroit. So he was almost doing, uh, like, doing the same thing that Chip Kelly was doing with Oregon players. He was only bringing over uh, people from Oregon, but now Matt Patricia is doing it with uh, his own players that are now becoming free agents, and now they're going over to, to Detroit. Um, I was just actually talking to someone. He's uh, he works at my store. He's from Chicago. He's a big Bears fan, and he, he's sort of sold on Mitchell Trubisky. But even he's amazed as to why they didn't go with Foles. Um, of course, we don't know like from preseason who would have you know been the better quarterback. They're just making this decisions solely off of training camp. So I think it'll be a much easier decision just to go with Trubisky since he knows the the system uh, and and everything. Um, I think when it comes down to Chicago playing Detroit um, in recently, uh, especially in, in play in, for Chicago playing uh, in Detroit, um, Chicago hasn't had a whole lot of success uh, there. If they did win a game, it was just just by. Uh, you know, they won the last two years there. Detroit. They, um, they, they won the last two games there, and it was Thanksgiving games the last two years, I believe. Oh, uh, okay. I think it probably goes either or. Detroit wins in Chicago. Chicago wins in uh, Detroit. Uh, I'm going to pick the Lions mm. uh, for this game. Uh, Stafford is just – Stafford is just the, the better quarterback. I like him. He has a lot of success with Marvin Jones. Um he, and he's Galladay. Galladay's out. Oh, Galladay's out. I didn't know that. Okay. Galladay is out. That is it. For anybody Ooh. who didn't know, I'm pretty sure I just read before I jumped on here that Galladay is out. He is not playing, which is a huge – it's just tipping my decision. Uh, that is definitely tipping my decision <laughs> as well. <laughs> I was going to go with the Lions. I mean, be sure. Yeah, take me to Double check that to be sure. Game right there. But no, I said I just yeah. I don't I don't trust Detroit. Yeah, he's doubtful. Hey, you got a you AP's new yeah. running back. Yeah, uh, the Bears did yeah, sign Robert Quinn, Quinn though. That's what I was gonna. Ooh. I think the Bears line could be very dumb. I think if the Bears get back to just Bears football, like David Montgomery running back, run the ball, like run the football yeah. and let your defensive line take over. Khalil Mack, Robert Quinn had a great year for Dallas and. Mm. Despite being suspended no, initially, yeah, they got Robert I forget. Right. Yeah, and they got Hicks in the middle. I mean, they got three solid linemen um, or three guys that can get after the quarterback, stop the run. Is as long as they can kind of get back. I mean, they're two years removed from really. I mean, a, a weird field goal clunking off, you know, the uprights to you know beating us in the playoffs and going on to the next round. So I mean, they're not too far removed from being a playoff team that was like you know doing decent. And I think if they just kind of get back and ask Trubisky to do less and run the ball with Montgomery and let the D-line take over and, you know, sl- you know slow the game down. No, enough of the pass. And, I mean, I'm, grind, grind, you know, make it a little bit less complicated. So, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to go with Chicago because Galladay's out. Originally, I was thinking Detroit um, because I think Stafford's just a better quarterback hands down. But, um, yeah, I'm going to go Chicago. I'm right there with you, Pat, for pretty much the exact same reason. Like, I was leaning towards Detroit, and then I didn't realize Galilee was out, but he's he's a borderline, say, top 15 receiver, in my opinion. So that's definitely going to be a big loss. So I'm going uh, going to go with theirs there. Yeah. I'm with you guys on that one. So we got 4-1 okay. Bears on here. So Steve wins. That'll be a miracle if he wins this game. <laughs> 
<laughs> they got, if they got to Matthew, uh, Matthew Stafford, they'll win. But you just gotta think. All right, Matthew Stafford playing perfectly. I think he'll he'll be able to make more plays than Mitchell Trubisky and be able to get ahead. So that's yeah. Good. I'll be the lone wolf. I'll be the I'll be the lone wolf. All right. I think we It'll might be a close one division game, and Stafford is good. Stafford's still yeah. more healthy, a top ten quarterback. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He's just in the wrong place. That's that's just the problem with for real Stafford. Uh, so is everybody in Detroit? Yeah, you see him you know, before. So there's hardly there's hardly anybody in Detroit. <laughs> there's hardly anybody. That place is damn near ghost town. I mean, look at we got Darius Lee from there. Shit, <laughs> like so, it's right there. <laughs> yeah.